I have a few areas around my house where I have some weeds growing. And instead of spraying them down with a traditional weed killer like a Roundup or a Spectracide, my wife has asked me to control the weeds with a non-synthetic solution because she's worried about potential health side effects that could come from the traditional weed killers. Okay, I'm gonna be trying to take care of some weeds and instead of using something like Roundup, I'm gonna be experimenting with an all natural weed killer. So the base of what I'm gonna be using is this 30% vinegar. And 30% vinegar isn't your normal uh, table kitchen vinegar. This is probably six times stronger than your regular white vinegar. You can pick this up at a hardware store like Home Depot. And this is gonna be the main base to our uh, natural wheat killer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this gallon sprayer about halfway filled with the 30% vinegar. I'm also going to use some regular table salt. And finally, just a squirt of dish soap. And that's going to be my mixture. So this area is going to be the main area that I'm going to be spraying and comparing. I'll be spraying other parts of my property, but this is going to be the one that I'm going to be comparing and tracking for this video. I don't really care if this area ever grows anything again. So I'm going to say that to start with. I'll maybe try to grow something later and see if it does. But if it if it really kills the land for growing for a bit, I really won't care too, too much. Uh, but I'm going to start with my first application now, and then we're going to track this in the weeks to come. It's a very powerful smell. I can feel like the nose hairs on my nose burning off a little bit as I was spraying it around. Uh, it's a difference. It's like a, a super-powered vinegar smell to it. Then over here is another area where I have some weed growth where I sprayed some of it. Uh, so we'll check in with this area through out the coming weeks as well to see how it works here. Okay, and here we are one day later. And you can see there's already a major impact just one day later. The uh, weeds that I sprayed are dying. And here is day two. And there is still a slight vinegar smell to the area, which is interesting. Day three. Day four. Here we are, day five. I'm thinking about just mowing over these dead plants. I see some green still on some of the extended limbs, but I'm guessing that they won't grow back. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna mow over them. Some of this is looking okay and pretty healthy after I mowed over it. As you can see, it's still day five. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more. This time it's just the 30% uh, the vinegar. And then one week later, after the last time I've checked in, so it's almost two weeks. Now I also have some footage on the side of my house, the other area that I sprayed. So let's take a look at the results there for the few days that I checked in on this section as well. And here is a look at the other area. Not dying quite as fast. The items here. Now I didn't spray anything on the big bushes. These four big bushes, I wanna keep just the weeds surrounding the bushes is what I sprayed the vinegar on. Day three. And 
And here we are on this side of the house. About two weeks later. When comparing vinegar to a traditional weed killer, I found that both cost about $20 per jug, but the vinegar is usually a dollar or two more expensive. But you may need to invest in a one-time cost for your own spray bottle if you're using vinegar, while Roundup usually comes in its own disposable spray bottle. I actually found some commercially available vinegar-based weed killers online, and they appear to be 20% vinegars as opposed to the 30% vinegar that I used. They do, though, come in their own disposable spray bottles. It looks to me like the customer ratings for both the vinegar-based weed killers and the traditional Roundup weed killers are about the same, though the Roundup is usually just slightly cheaper. Another thing to think about when picking your weed killer is the temperature outside. Roundup is typically designed to be used in temperatures of 60 degrees and up, though Roundup says it can work in temperatures as low as 45 degrees. Roundup works by getting the plant to absorb the chemical during photosynthesis, which only happens in warmer temperatures. Vinegar works by acidically burning the plant, which I wouldn't think would require warmer temperatures, so it may be effective in the winter or early spring to kill off some type of weeds, but I haven't tried that yet myself to verify. Another thing that I found interesting is that when I sprayed the weeds, the effects were really quick with the vinegar, with major results in one day. But you probably noticed that the plants didn't always fully die. In some cases, the weeds were able to recover and re-root from some of the branches to make a partial recovery, which required me to mow over the weeds and spray it for a second time. I also noticed that the vinegar was less effective on the hill compared to the flat area. This might be because the incline on the side hilly section allowed the vinegar to slide off. I might have had some better results if I used a bit more dish soap for this section, as the soap helps the vinegar stay on the leaves of the weeds. Overall, I can say that the vinegar does work to kill weeds and does almost as good a job as a regular weed killer, though it may be just slightly more expensive, especially if you don't already own your own sprayer. I've also read that the vinegar, especially if you're mixing it with salt, is harsher to the soil, as the vinegar not only burns the plants, but any healthy organic matter in the soil. So using this concoction can impact the fertility of the soil, while the Roundup will only impact the plants. I hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, consider leaving this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, and if you like these types of videos, subscribe for more videos in the future.